Have you ever wondered this to be true? Because we all heard the familiar, most common quote that the greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world that he doesn't exist. That was really famous. But have you ever thought about this? Hello everyone, once again this is Dare to Speak. I want to make it perfectly clear that when I say something like this out of like what if type of situations, because if you really think about it, It wouldn't surprise me, and it shouldn't surprise anybody who thinks, you know, the right way, that God could be an evil tyrant, an evil, self-centered, egotistical, narcissistic tyrant. And for many years, I never it never really dawned on me. It never, it never really dawned on me. So I don't believe in God as far as, you know, the Bible's point of view, you know, the common belief, the common thinking. I don't believe in Satan, you know, in the same way either. It's pretty much a myth to me. And, and, uh, and I've been thinking this way for the past, um, I would say four and a half years at least I was thinking this way. Now that now the thing is when it when it comes to this kind of uh suspicion, it only makes me more and more correct. God and Satan doesn't exist the way that we think of them to be. And if they really are real, if they really do exist, just like the video that I did before a long time ago, Lucifer is actually the good guy. I said that if he, if he's, um, if he really is real, then he would actually be the hero, not the villain. And God would be the actual villain. In Greek mythology, he's synonymous with Zeus. And Lucifer is, is actually synonymous with Prometheus. And Prometheus was rebellious and he didn't have any evil intentions. Zeus, on the other hand, was very egotistical, self-centered, arrogant. He was a serious, serious tyrant. So God, in, in the same way, is no different than him. So it's just a, another way of looking at God in, in, that, in, that, in, that, in that story of myth. And then if you really look at the Ten Commandments, thou shalt not, not have any other gods before me. You don't worship anybody else but me. If you do, you'll go to hell. 
if you do this, you'll you'll be punished. And a very and trying to, to um project fear into people. And a lot of Christians think that that's good. When I was growing up, it made me kind of afraid of God. But then I was saying to myself, wait a minute, if God is good and all loving and all, you know, obviously all powerful, but why does he have to be very stern and, and scare the fuck out of people? Why does he have to do that? It doesn't make sense. I thought he was a loving God and this and that. He'll, he'll, if you do something that he doesn't want you to do, he'll just be disappointed. And he'll tell you why you shouldn't do that. But that's not, that's not how it's taught to us. That's not how I learned it. I learned it as you don't do this, otherwise you'll suffer this. You don't do that, otherwise you'll be tormented for life and I will never forgive you. And I'm like, what the fuck? And whenever I brought that subject up, I said, that doesn't seem right. And then the most strict Christian fundamentalists will say, well you, well, you don't question God. Don't ever say that again. Don't, don't do this. Don't question God's motives. Don't question God's will, his, what his plan, what he, what he, what he wants, what he wants for us. You don't question him. Just obey. Fuck you. I mean, I mean that's, that's, that's how I see it right now. And that's, that's how I saw it for the past four and a half years. I said this before many times, so it's not really anything, anything really anything different. So hopefully, many of you will understand. And this, this is just how I feel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Questions or comments, you know what to do. And this is Dare to Speak. And to all of you, take care.